Yo, what's going on, everybody? So this is Antoine Matthews with another tutorial on how to hack. Right now, as you can see, we do have Metasploit launched up on our terminal. And I want to show you how to actually escalate your privileges using the local exploit suggester. Um, this is a great tool if you already have a interpreter shell set up, but for some reason your privileges aren't to the level to where you have system or you can do a whole lot of cool stuff because you're being restricted. I'm going to show you how to bypass that using this tool. Cool. So let's check this out. So as you can see, we got the interpreter session already set up. Prior to this, you can see my stager was getting pronounced. So let me go ahead and see who we are. Get you it. Awesome. So as you can see right here, we are the NT service and uh, MySQL. This is what we got. This is so let's 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 see our, our level of privilege, right? So first, typically we should be able to do get system, right? Boom. Oh man, get system not working. All right. So let me see if I can migrate to a different service. Actually, let me make some room so it's not so junky. So migrate to a different service. So let's do LSAS. This is one of my favorite services. Oh, uh, dude, I don't have enough privileges. Once again, they blocked me, so I can't get the system. So they said, hey, look, bro, you can't do none of this impersonation. It's nothing. You can't do to token duplication. You can't do anything because you don't got enough privileges because you're only a service. Then I tried to migrate to a different service, and they said, hey, bro, you can't do that either. You just don't have enough privileges. So look right here insufficient privileges it's like when your bank tell you you insufficient the same process here it's no bueno so i'm gonna show you how to bypass that so what we want to do is we're going to toss this interpreter show into the background right then what we want to do is type in search and then suggester boom so that's going to pop up once again you can put use zero or that number right here or you could put use and type out the whole name. Y'all know me, I like it simple. So I just put use zero. Let's go ahead and do this. Then we're gonna put show options. So cool, now we got our options up. All we gotta do is let them know what session we want this to be applied to. So let's go ahead and type in sessions so I can show y'all the sessions I have up. So right now we only have one session up. And once again, it's that service session, right? So what we're gonna do is set session one right here. So set session one and then hit run. So right now what it's doing is it connected to session one and it's gonna figure out what kind of exploits or it's gonna suggest exploits based on the information that it received from session one, right? So look, it says collecting local exploits for XP from, I'm sorry, for X86 windows. And all we got to do is wait, let it do its job. Coffee break. We ain't got the LA hat on today, man. I didn't feel like going upstairs and putting on the LA hat. I've been up for a minute. I got my hair growing out too. I mean, I mean, oh, but anyway, look, some, some just happened, some just happened. So look, we got 37 exploit, 37 exploit checks are being tried. So right now it's trying these exploits. They run it through them really fast to see if it's a potential vulnerability in session one. So look, it did it. So out of 37 exploits that it checked, these are the ones that are most likely vulnerable. For this particular um, session, or to escalate the privileges for this particular scenario, I know we have to use this one right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this, this exploit, we go ahead and push copy. Then at the bottom, just put use, and then we paste it. Now, for some reason, you don't know which exploit you might need. You could always research these. Watch, let's do this. And then let's put info. So look, when you put info, it'll tell you what this exploit actually does. So what this module utilizes the net NTLM v2 
reflection between blah, blah, blah. You read this. What we wanted was escalation of privileges, right? Because they was hating on us earlier. Matter of fact, let's pull that back up because I'm still kind of salty about that. Where is it at? Where is it at? Boom, insufficient privileges. So we about to just knock the doors down. We about to say, all right, y'all didn't want to let us in. So now we about to, now we about to break in, right? So the options that we have for here that we need to set is session one, because once again, it's for session one, right? The last thing we did let us know what vulnerabilities were possible for session one. Now that we found a vulnerability, we have to assign this exploit to session one. So we set the session, now let's run it. And now it's doing its thing. So the payload was a reverse TCP handler or shell. Look, we got another interpreter session open up. Y'all see that? It says interpreter session two opened up. So let's see who we are now. Ooh, got him, got him. So look, we went from a service account to the NT authority system. That's the highest authority that you could get. That's the highest privilege that you can get inside of a network. So this is what we want. This is what we want right here. So now check this out, right? Check this out. So we're going to run those same commands that I tried earlier. So let me get some space so we can see the magic happen. So let's put get system. Oh, look at that. Got system via the technique. And we didn't even need to do that, but I want to show you that we can do it. So now we got the system. And this is the important part, especially when you want to figure out hashes and things like that for like patch the hash and other exploits that you can use to navigate throughout you know the network or a system. Let me show y'all this. So we're gonna navigate first migrate to name LSAS. And the reason I like LSAS is because this is where you get all the passwords and, and all the hashes. Like it, it just got all the good information. So now that we navigated over there, watch this. We can do hash dump, right? Oh, got him. So we got the administrator. We got guests. We got some other accounts right here. We got Bob. We got Alice. Man, we got all the information. Sys admin. And we even got the one to that um, my C or the, the SQL server, right? So look, but the hash is the endpoint. This is the endpoint for the hash. We kind of going out of scope right now. But I just wanted to show y'all the privilege escalation using the local exploit suggester so look we started off as a scroll up so y'all can see the proof because it's the proof is in the pudding right and we love some banana pudding so we about to show y'all before we eat so look this is what we were we were this we were that service ms sql that's what we were and we didn't have no privileges look we couldn't do nothing nothing we couldn't get the system we couldn't we couldn't migrate to my favorite service. They said, nah, bro, you can't do it. So we went back in to Metasploit. When we put that session into the background, then we ran or we searched for the suggester. It popped for us. What we did was we used it, ran this on session one once again. So it started looking for exploits to suggest for our first session, it tried 37 different exploits. Based on those exploits, it decided that these are suggested that these were most likely vulnerable. These would work for us. We found the exploit we wanted to use. We even had got some info about it. Right here, it'll let you know what we're talking about. We applied that exploit, this one right here, to session one, push run, and look, escalated privileges. And then remember it was hating. Once again, remember it was hating. So now we stole the system just, just on GP, just because we could do it. Then we navigated to this service, the LS ass <laughs> service. Essentially, that's what they, it holds the passwords and hashes, like I said before, because that's my favorite one. And then I, I dumped the hashes on their ass, just, just, just out of spite. You know what I mean, now I can use this for past the hash and all other kind of information. But anyway, that was your boy, Antoine Matthews. I wanted to show y'all how to use the local exploit suggester on Metasploit to escalate your privileges 
once you already have a shell. If you don't know exactly where to move or how to navigate to that next privilege, you know, try this, see if it worked for you. Um, everybody out there, have you used this tool? Like, what do you use when you exploit or do you have some other ways that you exploit um, or escalate your privileges? This is just one way that I could show you. I got a few different ways, but I'm curious to see, you know, if y'all knew about this um, tool inside of Metasploit or if you use, you know, a, another route, let me know. Uh, once again, if you like this, tell a friend to tell a friend, like, share, subscribe. And hey, this is Antoine Matthews. You can always find me on LinkedIn. That's my main social network um, at Antoine Matthews or AR Matthews. And like always, man, <laughs> holla at your boy.